We all face catch 22s in our daily lives, having to pick between two choices when either decision has a negative outcome. Local Housing First nonprofit Catch says people experiencing homelessness know that feeling all too well. Our Andrew Bartline spoke with Catch today and one of their clients who they helped overcome homelessness. Andrew, her story shines light on some of these problems. Clients at Catch are people typically who struggle to make ends meet, so they're caught somewhere between do I buy gas for my car or do I buy groceries today? Heather Ziegel and her daughter Sierra are a success story and their experience isn't uncommon. People who live a tough life have to answer tough questions. Do I stay in a relationship that is unhealthy so I have financial support? Questions where either outcome offers a negative result. Poverty actually causes short-term thinking. That is absorbing all of their attention and they don't have space to think about lots of other things. Catch is a housing first nonprofit. They call dilemmas like these Catch 22s. These are questions that our clients are facing daily. Clients like Heather and her daughter Sierra. It's probably too many to sit and think about. Catch says many of their clients are part of generational poverty and Heather is no exception. Yeah, I did. I didn't know if we wanted to go all the way back that far. <laughs> She's known homelessness throughout her entire life and fell victim to a drug addiction late in her teens. That's where my mind was and it was sporadic. Heather never had her own place, never had what she'd call a good job and she didn't have good company to push her to be better. Stop talking to everybody that um, wasn't good for my life. Bad relationships. That's another common threat at Catch. We were surprised that 100% of the single mothers that came into our program had experienced major trauma, 100%. It led Heather and Sierra living between homeless shelters for months, waiting patiently to get their number called off Catch's wait list, waiting specifically for someone to answer her Catch 22. Am I going to run down and pay the car payment first or am I going to, you know, pay the insurance because the money was tight? Yeah, tight. Half a year later, Catch lifted one financial burden for Heather and that allowed other pieces okay. of her life to snap into place. Here, are you ready for some of this? Because today, Heather's three years Go. clean and Catch found her housing, which allowed Heather to take the time she needed to find a good job. She works in fiber optics. I'm, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> from, you know, and a, a really big thanks to the CATCH program. All made possible by temporarily removing a financial burden. I'm doing all of it on my own now. Didn't even know how to write a check, <laughs> you know, and now I'm writing checks to pay my rent. Heather just needed someone to answer her CATCH 22. This is a cause worth investing in, and the CATCH 22 program is a tangible solution that folks can do to be part of the way that we can end homelessness here in the Treasure Valley. Catch says 80% of the families that they house a year later are still stably housed. If you're interested in donating to a program like this, we'll link over on our website to KT on KTVB.com to this Catch 22 awareness campaign through the rest of the month. Morgan. Andrew, I love seeing how organizations help personal people. You know, you always give us those personal stories. We really appreciate it. Andrew Bartline, thank you.